Hey guys, in this video we're going to be learning more about variables. In the last video we did look at variables, but this time we'll go a little more in depth. Before we begin, did you get the answer to the last question? How do I make a variable that shows my current subscriber count? Well here it is. Right now I have 2,930 subscribers, so the answer would be local sub count equals 2930. You could have named the variable whatever you wanted, but I keep it simple. As long as you were able to figure out how you could represent the number, it's all good. Let's get started with this video. So, we know that we can set variables equal to numbers, but did you know that we can also set them equal to other things as well? Here's where we meet something called data types. In other programming languages, they're more important than Roblox Lua, but they're still important regardless. So, I'm going to go through the important data types with you so you can get a sense of what they are. Data types are basically how you classify your data. For example, a number is a data type. A number can be equal to 1, 2, 3, 584, 600, 5982, or even 501 million 298,412. In Roblox Lua, numbers are treated as well numbers, so they can have decimal points and negative signs, and they're still considered numbers. In other languages, like in C++ however, there are several different types of ways you can deal with numbers. I won't be showing you these until we get into error debugging, because that's when it'll be important. We already know about numbers from the last video. We can type, for example, local num equals 1. The 1 is the value of the variable num, and it has the data type of number. We can turn this 1 into a negative number by adding a minus sign before it. Further, we can turn it to a decimal number and change it to 0 0.5 and everything will be fine. As far as I know, Roblox doesn't limit how many numbers you can have after the decimal point, so you can have a 0 0.999999 and it'll be all good. Roblox will understand what you mean without yelling at you. So besides numbers, what other data types are there? Well, there's something called a boolean, which is nothing more than a true or a false. For example, answer this question. You can't answer with anything other than true or false. Are you watching this video right now? Well, the answer is true, of course you are. What about this one? Are you on Mars right now? Well, if you're watching this in the year 2050, maybe you are. But for now in 2021, I'm pretty sure we're all on planet Earth. So we can generalize the answer to be false. So, how would you represent Boolean variables in Lua? Simple, let's take the watching video example. Local watching video equals true. As you can see, the true turned into a different color after you finish typing it because it's a built-in Lua keyword, which means that Lua understands you and it won't throw you with errors. What if we type the word true wrong? I'll add an extra E at the end. We can see that Lua caught the mistake and it told you that you needed to fix something. This is especially helpful when you're debugging code that's thousands of lines long. Chances are you won't notice the misspelling of the word and it'll go unnoticed. You can also set the true to false to show that the variable represents something did not happen. In our example, since watching video is set to false now, it can be interpreted that you aren't watching the video. If it was set to true, then you could interpret it as you are watching the video. Let's use a real world game example. Say you wanted to represent whether a player owns a VIP game pass with a boolean variable. You'd do local player owns VIP equals true, or local player owns VIP equals false. If it's set to true, then they own it. And if it's set to false, then they don't own it. Now let's look at strings. What are they? While in programming, strings are basically a bunch of characters put together. They can even be words. For example, the word U is a string. The letters Y, O, and U make up the string U, so they're essentially a string of characters. In Roblox, when we're dealing with strings, we just have to remember to always surround them with quotation marks or apostrophes. So in Lua, if I wanted to make a string called U, I'd do local my string equals U. And there's your string. Remember that strings are nothing more than a bunch of characters, so we can even do local my string equals hi YouTube. Instead of using quotation marks, we can also just use apostrophes, and it won't make a difference. Take note that using quotation marks and apostrophes will make a difference in certain programming languages, but for Roblox, there's no difference at all. Do you remember when we learned how to print? We put a string inside of the parentheses. In print hello world, the string is hello world. Now, you might be wondering if you can print a variable that holds a string. Well, yes, you certainly can. Let's try it. Local my string equals the stuff I want to print. Print my string. This will work perfectly. When we printed the string, we didn't add quotation marks because we printed a variable that held. If we added quotation marks inside the parentheses, it would print the string my string and not the stuff I want to print. So, 
if you're trying to print a variable, remember that you shouldn't use quotation marks or apostrophes because Roblox will treat it as a completely new string. Now, what if you want to put a quotation mark or an apostrophe inside of a string? If you just do it, Roblox will yell at you. For example, if we do local my variable equals John said hi, we can see that Roblox is having trouble figuring out where your string is. So, how do we define a string with quotation marks? Well, there's two different ways to do it. We can do local my variable equals John said hi, and we see that quotation marks are applied on the word hi. Now, why did this work? We used apostrophes instead of quotation marks to define our string. So Roblox knew that the quotation marks were a part of the string. But what if we have a very large string and we need to use both quotation marks and apostrophes? What do we do? Like for example, local my variable equals he's a good person. How do we get past this? Well, here's where we use this character in front of the quotes or apostrophes. So instead of he's a good person, we can do this. This way, Roblox can differentiate between strings and quotes. Usually you won't need to do it this way and we can just do it the other way, but in case you do, that's how you do it.